Double. Try it. Boy, hey, amen. Like him. Back with some new heat for y'all today. You heard what she said. How everybody doing today, man? You know what I'm good, saying? We're good, we're good, we're good. Uh, we got a new episode, One Piece. It's been well. We just met the female. We just met the female princess, mm -hmm. and the whole kingdom, and that's mostly it. Yeah. We'll be looking for food as, as usual. Yep. And she a baddie. You know what I'm saying? You won her she is. in the last episode. She definitely a baddie, bro. But do you like the giant women, uh, like the Diana from Seven Daily Sins? I don't know what it is. I I, I guess it's just having more is just you know, available. You know, more 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 available. Mm. I just like you know, yeah, the Amazons. Okay. Yes. Okay. <laughs> yeah, man. But yeah, so it's like we said, it's uh definitely moving like slower pace. But we still like, like you said, um, you know, everything's kind of like taking its place, taking its course. And we're learning that, about the new uh, arc and all of that stuff. So we still got to hear what Jinbei was left for Luffy. We still got. Um, Which they could open up. They could open up with. Yeah. We still got the Arlong people fighting for his revenge. Or his new fish pirates. Yeah, yeah, so. Some stuff they open it up. Some new stuff. We still got a uh, Karibo. I know his name ain't Karibo, fam. The sand, the swamp, swamp dude. Mm -hmm. he still Karibu. got him. Yeah, Karibu. <laughs> Karibu, I think. I think, I think it is Karibu. I don't, be, I don't be focusing on him like that. Yeah. For some reason, I just feel like he's like that. Like uh, he's like buggy. It it, it could be buggy. Um, but the other character was like a villain, just there, bothering us. I'm, I'm I'm thinking maybe Spondum. What's his name? Spondum? Oh, Spondum. Not really that much, but cl kind of close. Like, Spondum was important to the arc, but we really was focusing on Luigi, really. It right. was being real, even though he was, like, the head of everybody. Right. Really wasn't worried about him like that. Yeah. Yeah. We yeah. See, see what else they got going for it. Yeah, man. Ready to, come on, man. Open it up, man. Open it up. All right. Ready to run it up? Yeah, let's get it. Did she get a reply yet? Oh yeah, just the descendant person. Mm-hmm. Dang! You been asking that for 10 years? He trying to marry a girl, G. He married him, that's a lot. I suspect. Crazy mama. Hmm. Oh, that's where the weapon's coming from? Oh, shoot. And he said, I don't miss. RP Vaughn. If he tossing that thing from all the way over there, no He homo. gotta be strong. He's hitting that door, that's wild. Did you have, like, salt in your tears? Yeah. She kind of like a baby. They're going to open the door. Luffy's going to have to stop the axe from hitting her or something. Mm -hmm. Calm down. They ain't aimed it right at her. Oh! Stopped it with his fist. Oh, my gosh. He almost killed his supposedly loved one. Woofy sensed that shit's not. I'm about to get a bunch of comments. Like, I've seen this before. Huh? About to be a bunch of comments saying I've seen this before. Why you say that? It's predictable bullshit. Predictable BS. What you say? 
I said that Luffy was gonna stop the axe from hitting him. Oh. <laughs> he an eel. <laughs> he just left her crib too. Neptune, do something. Y'all just got there. She just put her, put him in. They don't play with me. Who is that? That's Megalo. Chill. <laughs> bad old dirt. We should have mopped him, bro. He's starting all of the shit. Do his anus in the water. That's the only reason y'all took him in took him into custody. He probably didn't feel fear his life. Right. Come on, girl. The shark light. <laughs> Minister of the right. Yeah, people close the door and they still be looking. Alright. Oh, what? We locking in. Hey, I mean, so you up? Women change up that quick. Megalo was about to snitch on us. We just saved him. You decide. Mm, I like that. <laughs> you guys get keep by the control of <laughs> That's some shade, bro. He gotta be strong as hell. Right. Pretending. I mean. My oh my gosh. This man be hitting his target. What? Oh. Who's up? Need that. Need that devil power. Mm. <laughs> Can't even listen to her, bro. <laughs> She better order a whole goddamn thing of food. You still got some on there. She better smack. You better get that. Oh. There ain't no meat on there. He went for the bread first. <laughs> now he can talk to her. What's a mega little do it, man? Nigga, like. <laughs> it's me. This is like the same art style of Robin's uh little side story on that bridge. Mm. Look the same as when he hit that celestial dragon too. Mm -hmm. Talking all this stuff about seafood, we banging it. <laughs> How do you even know what that is? Baby sardine. I talked to you all night. You <laughs> said a forest? This is similar to somebody. I can't, I don't remember who it is. I knew, I knew it. It's old girl, G. Usopp girl. Usopp girl? Okay. I, I couldn't remember if she had an illness or not, though. I couldn't remember. She did. She did. Okay, okay, okay. Good. I was like, somebody was stuck stuck like this. Yeah. I was going to say it after, but you, uh, you brought it up. Wait, why she messing it up? Time, it's the first time for everything. Boy, you're a coward in the crab, baby. Dang, <laughs> I don't, I don't like, like you. you. <laughs> <laughs> he laughed at her. Luffy don't like crab babies. He a hole, bro. <laughs> hey, make a load. 
This man just got captured. OP people, bro. They don't gotta worry about nothing. This kind of reminds me of Bam. Bam, but he casually went in there, I think. From uh, Who? Seven Deadly Sins. Oh, Bam yeah. Bam was locked up. He could have got off if he wanted. Mop! Usapsu. They're just three humans. Mina. He said, that's what they want. Even without the captain. I can't take Brooks uh pants serious, bro. Talking about his experience. He ain't even lying this time. Right. Like Kabuto. <laughs> He gonna scream out. That's too chill. That's a real king, bro. You think before you act. He probably strong as hell too. Oh sister. What? He just wakes up and just come into the fight. <laughs> This man thirsty for a fight. He kind of looked like Mihawk a little bit right there. <laughs> now that was better than the movie did last time. <laughs> you say you say he looked like Mihawk. He kind of had like some I don't know. It wasn't <laughs> like the hair, but like the structure of his head or something. I don't know why he. I don't know why he interfered. If he was just about to capture him, not kill him. Mm. Oh shoot! He mean up with him. Fishman pirates? What the frick? The worst of the worst coming together. Okay. Wait, what? Oh, damn. Deccan got a fruit. I was wondering why he's in a bubble still. That symbol is like a symbol and it's crossing out like humans. Yeah, the head cut off. Ah, uh, the enemy of my enemy is my friend. Okay. This is the first time we got like two villains. Tag teaming? Mm-hmm. Tag team. Interesting villains? take. This episode was way more interesting. I like Luffy stopping that stopping that uh that attack from that far. And that was yeah. impressive. It was like impressive that he threw it that far. But it it took it down a little bit because that was a devil fruit power. The mark mark? Yeah, because he would have hit his mark regardless. So now oh, yeah, I yeah. thought that was pure strength and just aim. Like thought that was that oh. I thought it was that cold, but it was gonna get there because he has a fruit. So yeah. it took it away. Maybe it's the strength part, but maybe like you gotta be strong enough to throw it enough to reach it. I don't know. But both of them teaming up together do seem like it's kind of formidable in a sense. It seems like it's enough for one villain because both of them by themselves was like, eh. Yeah. Together, you're like, okay, we'll see what happens. Exactly. exactly. We'll see what kind of story y'all got and yeah. stuff. And I think, like, I do think that dude is related to Arlong too. Yeah. They got the same color, color shade, but they nose is different though. Yeah. But they do have the same tattoos too, but they got that little swordfish or... Or like the little sword shark thing. Yeah. Tattoo too. Um we'll what I wanna see is Zoro beat one and Sanji beat the other one. I only wanna see Luffy even have to fight mop. these people. Yeah. Yeah, it's kinda like a boring thing. Like you can just lock Luffy up and let the crew take over it. Maybe it's a foreshadowing that the crew will take care of this art. Yeah. Because they did just take care of the guards, but we'll see. Luffy. That'd be a nice take on stuff. Yeah, Luffy said he was like, the all can't lock them up anyway. Like mm -hmm. that's dope. They mocked them. <laughs> it's crazy, man. Yeah, this was dope. This episode was definitely like see, this was saying like it started warming up and certain like you yeah. gotta give it time. You yeah. know what I'm saying? This episode was heat to me. It was like, definitely like Zoro popping up like that was way better than the move that he did last time. Like a lot of people be saying that like like I expect Zoro to have a better move than Luffy and, and Sanji, where that's not the case. Zoro low key be having better moves than them sometimes. Yeah, so it's, it's not the case. It's really about the impact and the setup exactly. of the moments. You know what I'm yeah. saying? All that plays a point in just doing a flashy move. Like, this, we've seen Zoro just sleep, not even caring about nothing. Then out of nowhere, 
the freaking game about to attack and he yeah. shows up like that. Nah. Like, you know what I'm saying? That was like a green scene before. Yeah, that you was know like a situation. Now, visuals can visuals can look good. Yeah, don't get me wrong, but that one didn't look good. I mean, not not this one, but 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 the past didn't just mm. just didn't look didn't pop. Yeah, like I said, I like when he first was finna unsheath and you yeah. start seeing that power, like before he even like put mm -hmm. the sword out. Like that part was cool to me. Yeah, hats um, off, hats off to Zoro for that, man. Yeah, that was, that was cool to him. Yeah, man. Now, now he with the gang, and we ain't even gotta go get him. Facts. They brought us. They brought him to us. Captain Thanks. Them. Appreciate it. <laughs> But yeah, we're ready to get to the next episode, man. Aim me up. Let's go. Dang! <laughs> Impressive. Casualties on both sides. Cap. What <laughs> he? Hey, on dirt, G. <laughs> hey, smart, though. Uh, she learned how to, to expand them. She got a domain expansion. <laughs> she got a domain expansion. <laughs> God dang it. This girl definitely look older, bro. No, that man is strong. Are you healed, Zoro? Is he a hundred percent? Oh. Shinron. <laughs> Boy, tell him, tell her, Luffy. You gotta say this to girls all the time. Hurry up. Uh, he already got this grin on his face. <laughs> don't take long. Luffy don't play, bro. Don't take too long. <laughs> I don't like that, bro. That looks like making a good dog. He already mopped everybody? That's crazy. <laughs> What's done is done. <laughs> <laughs> He said, oh, oh, oh. That's right, Luffy is missing. She <laughs> <laughs> said, don't be me. He like, get off me, man. Stop touching me. <laughs> Treasure chamber? <laughs> I'm funny, bro. You say you gonna last day anyway. What type of last thing is it? He bogus. <laughs> Throwing out my back. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. <laughs> yeah, oh. I don't know how I feel though, man. Oh, we need a new pose? <laughs> Getting mopped. He always stand. This dude be turned up. <laughs> Let y'all in. <laughs> then what? <laughs> he turns up. It's too much for Zoro, bro. He yeah, made the hostage situation. Right. <laughs> Zoro! Just bad. <laughs> we don't know where it is. A gloomy woman. <laughs> I'm talking, talking about Robert. Right, right, yeah. <laughs> 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 That's fine. Dang, y'all ain't got no plan B? Oh. You gonna tell us what Jinbei said? <laughs> Finally, bruh. 
Why does it make it like one big message? Why would he say that? Waiting at the sea forest. Don't fight Horty, and we'll see you at the sea forest. Damn. That's Horty. a first. Don't fight the don't fight the villain in the other arc. Um. So that's the Arlong looking person, right? Mm-hmm. His name Horty Jones. Interesting. A new form? Alright. Kung Fu D! <laughs> Jump up! <laughs> I like the idea. I just don't like Kung the form. Boost. It's like Kung Fu Panda. Yeah. <laughs> Should I go crazy? Yeah, ADHD. Okay. Luffy don't know yet. You shouldn't be asking that woman what she want to do. <laughs> she about to say the sea forest. Perfect timing. <laughs> <laughs> Say Luffy Sama. Luffy should throw something back at him. They're gonna be forced. They're gonna be forced to fight. <laughs> he just gonna tell them to go. Oh man, that, that's my kid you talking about. <laughs> By this man is like another version of the Sanji, bro. He <laughs> 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 got, got a mission, bro. And now she's in a different kind of danger. <laughs> he says, you see her first. Sounds you probably wish he was Brooke when it comes to ladies, bro. He can't lose blood and almost die. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, ah. Pack your stuff. Looking good. <laughs> <laughs> you pay Jesus, I can't help it. He tried to take us away, he can't even go. He's like, you paying? <laughs> he got a strange way of calling people cowards and then making them feel bad after that. Oh wow, they probably about to leave before they come. Hey, through people. I see you, Oda. That's kind of dark. No way they still alive. Oh, oh they, they probably beefed up. Yeah, of that power juice. <laughs> Coward. She inside the shark. That shark. I didn't think that shark was that dang big. That shark living his best life right now. He like... Hey, this man about to throw up to the sea forest on accident. He just going there. He didn't care about the crew. Damn. He didn't even need the message from Jinbei. He just going to the sea forest. Right. Of course, he going to the place Jinbei at. Yeah, that's pretty weird. cool. Man, that's that's some dark stuff. My man was throwing the bodies there. Yeah. It would have been darker had they been dead, but the weather was part of a plan, so. Yeah. Wow. That's crazy, bro. Jimbe said, don't fight Horty, bro. Mm hmm.
One if it's like a deep, a deep like I feel like the same thing with uh with uh Arlong is like him and Hordy was probably just like discriminated against by the humans. That's why they hate him so freaking much. Yeah. So it got to be something that like maybe Jimbei want to take care of it himself because he was the leader or the captain of the Fishman pirate. So he probably think that this is this is his duty to take care of, not not Luffy's. Mm, that makes sense. Yeah. Got you on that. Well, yeah, man, this is dope. I'm sorry, I'm ready to get to the next episode. Dang! My brother's pupil. He met him next oh. week? Oh! That's um, Tom Song's brother? It's kind of like his uncle. Mm-hmm. They're like a forest. Everybody go in. I want to see Jinbei. He said, "Oh, walk." <laughs> Rattle my bones too hard. Oh, reflexes. Mopping. They on that shit, isn't it? That's crazy. You can't even swim when you're a fisherman. Oh, because he got the devil. Yeah. Anybody tell you to eat the devil fruit? Oh. Mm. A generation change. <laughs> oh, dang. It's like the, the new younger gang members that come up. Trying, yeah. Freaking. Trying to take over. Messing up the code, fam. Arlo! Mm. At least he learned from his mistakes. Mm. Mm. No, leave Hachi alone. He locked onto him. Don't Hachi, bro. I mean, he's not on a princess no more. I mean, how do you even mark her anyway? <sighs> Swords would be taking all type of bruises, bro. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. The new school never respect the elders or the OGs, bro. X. You need that crush no more though. I realized that. Oh yeah, we gone. Oh no. Ah oh, no. They still coming, man. It don't make sense for them to show Hachi after so long and she has to kill him. Yeah. The key's gonna be beat the heck beat the heck up, but that sucks. And villains never go check on their kill, so. Oh, oh yeah, that's why he shook his hand with the glove, so he he, he wouldn't mark a uh, Hordy. So we need him to touch. Oh, marks. He don't want to give up that mark. Right. That's what I was wondering. I, was like, I thought he didn't have it on her. Now he can have two. This man ain't washed his hand for ten years, bro. Stanky hand, fam. <laughs> How did he even touch her? They just despise humans, but they still want to be there, bro. They uh forced them, remember? They forced him to be there. 
And they just like they them. happy though. I'll be in that. Yes, boss. <laughs> what you need me to I'll do? Not in there, bro. That's why he ain't even. He ain't even got to put that much strength into it. He just lift him up. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that dude sitting down scared me. Yeah. He too quiet. <laughs> Y'all technically already away from him. Stay in there. <laughs> and I'll go, even if it kills me. If she's beautiful, you'll die. He's having a call. Get off me, fam. All y'all had to do was take my man's death. <laughs> Son, he's out of control, bro. <laughs> This man. <laughs> OC, fam. You just said, do whatever. The ton is done. Low key. Get <laughs> 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 over here. <laughs> this man, sign you, man. I cannot take a compliment, bro. Dang, he found Hachi. Hachi, you, you know, you got some damn problems, man. Sometimes he. <laughs> no, but. Hachi, good, though. <laughs> he said something on your friend. <laughs> yeah, please. <laughs> Oh, he said, get out. He just want the shark to get killed. <laughs> Damn, bro. She's been there for 10 years. Hold on, let me she was six when he marked her. Pedo. Probably to the, uh, the person that freed everybody mm. that's probably the grave i want to see a whale mm. Queen Oto. Oh, oh, so she's going to visit her mom, her mom's grave. Dang. Dang. Her mom passed. That does make sense because I did not think about her mom. Yeah. I didn't think twice about it. I don't know why. I know you had the king and the princess, and I, I for some reason, think... I just didn't think about the queen. <laughs> just, sorry, y'all. Sorry, y'all queens out there. My bad. Dang. Yeah, this this was a, a heartfelt episode. I didn't think they was gonna kill Hachin because it didn't seem like that type of dark, gloomy. I felt that I felt that presence more when he was when the uh, the um, what are they called? the celestial dragon shot him. Mm. I felt I felt I felt like he was gonna die more there than here. So yeah, yeah. But, but, hey man, but they they roof oh, for roof roofless for throwing people at, at up there from from that far. You know what I'm saying? But I feel like with um with like how, how Jinbei was kind of portrayed to be like kind of ruthless and evil back mm -hmm. in the beginning, now he's kinda of like kind hearted and, and, and like and like you know what I'm saying, smart and like does stuff for the right reasons. I feel like he kinda of changed Hotchin's character too. So we first saw Hotchin, he was kinda of like touched. Yeah. He didn't seem this intellectual and, and being able to reason and stuff like that he yeah. seemed like that slow person that's just cold yeah that's what that's exactly, yeah. exactly true now now all of a sudden you have full conversations and stuff like that yeah he didn't do it in side body but I, I just realized that now like yeah dang like he definitely changed as a character definitely he was not the same nope ever since uh 
Yeah, a combination of Jimbe with uh, like mm-hmm. Luffy and them saving him and yeah, you know, friends and all of that. Like I don't know. Yeah. He came. He came to saw about a whole new person. Yeah, I feel like he out of everybody in the Arlong Pirates, he was the only one I could see as being like on a good person. Yeah, everybody yeah, else was more because yeah, he's so pure. He he didn't know. Like, yeah, he like he seemed like innocently kind of slow. Like yeah, not there. So yeah, just getting ordered around. Yep, yeah, but this man, the classic case, freaking youngins, man. Yeah, trying to just disrespecting, disrespecting the OGs. Like we literally, we literally deal with that in Chicago to Facts. this day, and that's why it's turned into such a, like a battlefield. The fact that nobody, like we have all these gangsters and stuff like that, but nobody respects the code. Nobody like respects family. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You're not supposed to be able to. You're not supposed to touch people's families and nothing like that, especially Facts. when they're gone. Nobody res- like there's no respect in Chicago, really. There's really no respect, and most of the OGs is locked up uh, as well. And that's kind of why I, I never felt fell into that trying to be trying to be in any type of game because one, you ain't got no health insurance plan. Right. You know what I'm saying? And then and then it's just like there's no loyalty and there and there's no respect, bro. There's no loyalty and respect in the streets. Unless yeah. you grew up Unless under one of the OGs, up, yeah. you know what I'm saying? And being able to steal that to your friends. And you got people that's you know what I'm saying, that that's conscious of certain things. People just it's just a lot of stupidity in Chicago. Yeah. I ain't afraid to say that either, man. It's crazy. Yeah. That's why everybody trying to go to Chicago. I was like, "Hey, man, I ain't, I don't, I ain't no need to go back." Chicago is definitely not the same as when we grew up. It's not the same at all. No. It's, it's literally a battlefield, and like just, just thinking about living there is just ridiculous. Yeah, that jump crazy, man. But man, I want to be bringing real life, bro, into the stories, bro. Yeah, like I, I love that though, being able yeah. to relate and um, compare the different. Uh, life circumstances yeah because because that's mostly why they don't like humans because they because because they didn't help the guy get the blood transfusion and they kind of um like uh like oppressed fishmen because yeah. i'm guessing they feared them as being superior to them and that's what african americans go through to this day with slavery and i always hated that i always that's why it's hard for me to kind of get behind certain things when it comes to to like African Americans being oppressed, is because I like a lot of people that's in higher higher stand like like um um higher like uh, statuses. Yeah, they tend to kind of just want to shun back and do the same thing that that was done to us hundreds of years ago and to this day. We kind of do the same thing back to them, and it's just like you're not really growing as a person like that because you're doing the same thing that they did to us. Right. Why not try to better that and 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 try to remove that from the world, but it's just like a stupid cycle, man. And, and and the same thing is being portrayed to this. You see him saying humans are nothing. We're superior to humans. Throw them up there like they garbage. And st- like you're literally doing the same thing that was done to you. Like stupid. Yeah, that's gonna never bring change, bro. That's At gonna all. never bring change. But but yeah, man. This was the I like man, I like anime is able to like, you know, be more intellectual, like more just just, just bigger than anime, I guess. Yeah. In a sense. So that's dope, man. I'm enjoying it. But yeah, man, this is a dope episode. Hope y'all enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure I take these videos out when I pay y'all before you put them on YouTube. Facts. Double dragon out. Peace. Deuces.